SCP-037, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-037 is magnetically contained in a subterranean complex known as Site-22. Object size, structural signature, and temperature are constantly monitored both on-site and remotely from Site-96. The primary containment chamber is lined with heat-conducting, radiation-resistant nanopeak GFZ, GFV polymer tiles in excavated of an atmosphere. Heat from the object is radiated into the submerging the surrounding rock. Should enclose integrity becoming compromised, the emergency systems will generate a low power argon plasma shield. This is projected to provide a minimum of four hours for on site engineers to effect necessary repairs before the object breaches containment. If the contingency, then stellar evolution proceeds ahead of projections and a nova event appears imminent. Or, or if containment failure is otherwise unavoidable, any remaining project staff are authorized to utilize the Pituac Protocol. Description. SCP-037 appears to be a star approximately 5 centimeters 2 inches in diameter with a luminosity of about 1 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of negative 12 times that of our sun, and a surface temperature of about 5,000 Kelvin, determined by UBV RI analysis. The origin of SCP-037 is unknown. However, analysis suggests that it shares many properties in common with the typical main sequence star, other than its anomalous small size. It is theorized to have entered the Earth's magnetic, sp magnetic sphere via the North Magnetic Pole. The object was discovered in 19 redacted above the Beaufort Sea at approximately the North Magnetic Pole. The immense electromagnetic interference was reported by Canadian Forces Station, CFS, alert followed by the extremely bright object descending towards the ocean from the sky. SCPS Guardian responded and discovered the object wavering of the erratic tra trajectory about 200 meters above the surface of the water. Above containment procedures were devised. It was transported to Site 32 for study. Containment and transportation of SCP-037 have been achieved by the use of power, powerful electromagnets to which the artifact aligns itself according to its own magnetic fields. The primary challenge to uh, containment thus far has been its powerful electromagnetic emissions, which are intense enough to easily be seen by the naked eye from a high Earth orbit. Its current enclosure is located deep underground to prevent detection and to facilitate radioactive cooling into the surrounding bedrock. In effect, the entire facility and the surrounding volume of the Earth's crust act as a massive heat sink. Addendum A. Over the past redacted years of study, the star has undergone a shift in emitted EM radiation, suggesting that it is undergoing stellar evolution at a vastly accelerated rate. Standard stellar models hold up this result in radius of by a factor of 100 to 300 times the Concamment, concomitant increase of radio uh, radiated energy. Emergency containment contingency, contingencies are being studied for that eventuality. Further process of the star's life cycle will be will likely terminate in a stellar nova, which is estimated to have a yield of redacted. Extra polaritons predict that the that this is to occur in redacted. Research is underway for a method to arrest this development or to transport SCP-037 a safe distance from the planet before it occurs.